Hello everyone. Thanks for joining us for this uh, French Electronic Lab. Uh, today we're going to try to show and explain a bit more about uh, the French market and how it's, uh, how it's working and its particularities. And uh, today with us we have four members of uh, representing the, the French uh, market and talking about the French institution and how to work with them. The part one of the big particularities of the French market is the, the part of the public sector in it. So with us today, we have uh, Tommy Vautran from uh, Hello. Techno Parade and Paris Electronic Week. Hello. Hello. Do we have the mic? Up, up, up. Hello. We have Michel Pilot also, <laughs> Frédéric Ocar and uh, Aurélien Dubois, and I'm going to start by uh, asking you to introduce yourself, what you do, and uh, how you work with those institutions. Let's start with you, Tommy. So I'm Tommy Vodotran, the president of Technopole, who is co-hosting the French Electronic Lab, and we are the trade body association for the defense, recognition, and promotion of electronic music. So we've been working with institutions since 21, 22 years now, uh, we knew the bad days and the good days, and the days are better today. And I think we can talk about it with the city of Paris. So we are going to share our, ex our experience and try to explain what's the, the way to work with our numerous institutions. Uh, just to precise that Michel will speak in French and I will translate. So we'll have a bit of la uh, lag between what he says and my translation, but I hope that <laughs> it will be the m as fluent as possible. And we will try to speak correctly English, if we can. Donc, bonjour à tous. Uh, Tommy vient de vous le dire. Je préfère m'exprimer en français pour une raison très simple. C'est que mon anglais uh, n'est pas suffisamment au point uh, pour aller dans le détail technique de la réunion qui nous rassemble aujourd'hui. Ce sera plus facile pour moi et Tommy fera la traduction. I am the translation machine. So Michel is has an Michel extensive, says hi. extensive <laughs> experience. He's you work with Jacques Lang. Yeah, so uh, je peux expliquer en, en français. Donc je suis dans la culture des musiques électroniques depuis son arrivée sur le territoire français à la fin des années 80. Uh, J'ai occupé plusieurs fonctions uh, au sein de cette culture, ce qui m'amène à la connaître plutôt bien depuis ces 30 années. Euh, qu'elle s'exprime sur le territoire français, sur l'aspect purement, on va dire, des institutions et de la politique. Euh, je suis aux côtés de notre ancien ministre de la Culture, euh, Jack Lang, depuis un, presque euh, allez, 27 années. Euh, donc je maîtrise à peu près les mécanismes de la politique et donc euh, de l'objet de notre rencontre aujourd'hui, celle de parler avec les institutions sur le sol euh, français. Donc la connaissance de la musique électronique est parlée aux institutions est une chose plutôt euh, à l'aise avec laquelle euh, j'aime euh, nager. So to translate shortly, Michel has been working for 27 years with our former minister of culture Jacques Lang, who has been a key person in the electronic music development on the French market because he created the Techno Parade, which has 21 years today, who gather gathers 300 to 400,000 people in the streets of Paris, which is a major event. And he is one of the key supports of electronic music. And Michel advises him on the new trends, the new players, and how the electronic music market has been changing since 25, maybe 30 years now in France. OK. So I'm uh, Frederick Ockart. I'm, uh, I will try to speak English, so I will try a mix between what uh, Tommy said and what uh, Michel said. Um, so I'm the deputy mayor uh, of uh, Paris in charge of the nightlife. So uh, since uh, five years uh, with Anne Hidalgo, the mayor of Paris, and I work about and I support uh, in the nightlife the electronic music because in the nightlife you've got lots of electronic music and the electronic music develops all these activities, all these action in the nightlife, in the club, in the festival, and uh, all that stuff. I'm Aurélien Dubois. I direct the company Surprise, which uh, 
uh, developed the project as concrete the Orbut, the new uh, the new project in the, uh, after concrete whether festival or series but also uh, the management of uh, artists and um, our um, uh, label called concrete music and uh, also other projects but that's most of the project in the electronic music scene and you're also president and of also uh, yeah as m as my uh, I'm also direct um, professional syndicate, which uh, have uh, two hundred and fifth, uh, two uh, nearly two hundred um, uh, members in Paris for clubs and uh, restaurants. But most of the electronic music clubs of Paris are in my um, s professional syndicate. So um, our role is to deal with the, the state, the city, and uh, all the admin administrative part to uh, make sure that everything goes well with them. Thank you. Frédéric, if we could start with you, because you're at the heart of the institutions. Um, what would you say is the key difference between the system, the cultural system, or the political even system in France, and the rest of Europe? Uh, is, is it because we're a more socialist, France is a more socialist country and others like Holland and the UK are more liberal? Is that the key difference? Mm, the, the difference is uh, we created in France uh, the exception cultural, the exception, the culture, exception cultural, culture, uh, not after the World War II, not because we think we have a, a special culture or, or an exceptional culture, but it's a system, an economic system of uh, intervention of the state or intervention of the public agents or all kind of stuff to support the culture. And that's the, the only country in Europe who have built a so big intervention in the culture, uh, in the movies, in the music, in the theater, um, so that's the first difference. There is a very important intervention of the, 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 the public, uh, of the, the states or the local territories uh, in the culture. If you add all the, the different uh, level and all the different intervention, you have less than 10 billion euros of money who are uh, put in the system, in the economic system of the culture, all the culture, television, movies, uh, uh, music, uh, not, not only the, the, not only the theater, or not only the, 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 the I don't know, the, mo the, the, the book or other thing. Um, that's very important. Uh, that's the, the first difference. And the second difference is the, maybe the, the, the reverse of the, the, the other side, the dark side of this intervention is Maybe the, this insti institution are, uh, are, are big, uh, maybe there is some uh, bureaucracy or maybe there is some uh, difficulties to be able to capt what are bottom up and what are uh, working in the society and, and what are the, 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 the news, what are the, what are it's the emerge, what is uh, Emer emerging, emerging uh, in, the, in, in the culture. For example, uh, during the 80s, uh, the hip hop music well, push emerge in the all around. The uh, there is difficulty for the, um, the, 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 the public um, action to support the uh, the hip hop and for the electronic Still music. Today. And for the electronic music, during 80s and during the 90s, the, the, the time of emerging of the electronic music, it was the same thing. Uh, so. Uh, if to, to understand the, to, to, to the comparison of the public intervention and the specialty that the French market, but the intervention, the, the public intervention in France, that it's important and uh, it's uh, sometimes uh, have difficulty to see what's emerging, what is bottom up. Uh, so that's the reason why uh, the new music, the new style of music, you can say hip hop or electronic music, are not very helped by the uh, the public intervention. Uh, if you if, if, if you know the the the, the all the, um, the the la masse la, 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 la 
propose de, le, toute l'enveloppe, tout la, le, all the budget for the music, uh, not for the, 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 the city of Paris, yeah, but for, for the exam, state, for the, the, the state intervention in the music, half of the, 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 of the budget. The, the budget of the intervention is only on the uh, Opéra Bastille, for the Opéra, so it's half of all the budget for all the country. Well, that's not the point of view of the city of Paris, <laughs> because in the, city of Paris, yes. in the city of Paris, I want to precise that, uh, we have a special approach about the electronic music, or, uh, because we want to support, and we support the electronic music, we support the club, we support the you know, the Paris Electronic Week, or all different think and all different music. That's the reason, and I will finish with that. That's my delegation of um, deputy mayor is about the nightlife and about the diversity of the culture. So uh, since two years, the mayor of Paris, Anne Hidalgo, wants to create a delegation about the diversity of the culture because we want to support of all the different culture in Paris, including, of course, the electronic music. Thank you. Uh, Aurélien, if we can uh, continue with you, what's your relationship uh, with the institution and as a cultural entrepreneur? Uh, we, we, we just said like the time of the institution is a s slow moving pace, Institu public institutions move slowly, and when you're a cultural entrepreneur, you have to move fast to stay in touch with the market. So is there a, a problem there and how it's changed lately and how do you work with the city of Paris? Yeah, um, to continue of what was saying Frédéric, actually, is like um, at the, the all the subvention, the money to support um, the culture has already been uh, um, uh, split to like Opera Bastille or all the the other big festival in France, more uh, like in the rock rock music or the big mainstream actually uh, identity of music and uh, so because and we are the particularity of France is that all these big festivals on this big venue they leave the, the economy the, the big part of that economy is the help of the the um, um, financial help from the culture from the region or the states or the cities and so there's not there, there is not any money uh, there's not money anymore to help uh, emergent uh, scene like electronic music. So what we deal with our uh, business is mostly alone, and we try to find um, economy to be um, the economy to be uh, autonomous uh, and to build uh, uh, 360 degrees economy. We have uh, dealing with the, the artists we promote, the uh, places to uh, to put them and to make the promotion for them and uh, to have a uh, um, 360 degrees economy so we we are not we don't doesn't depend on the um, cultural cultural uh, money from the state or from the region uh, because we know that uh, it's already it has already been uh, given to uh, that, that venue or that festival uh, what we have been doing since uh, ma in my, my part, since 10 years, but maybe since 20 or 30 years, maybe from Michel, uh, is to um, take the image, the image of um, the, the image of electronic music in France has been for a long time a bit diabolized, like uh, with drugs and with uh, people that don't respect the rules. And what we do, and especially for us in Paris, with the city since 10 years, is to explain them that we are professionals that we uh, promote music and culture, and we there is not only the image they have that people who come and take drugs and uh, for bad issues actually. So that yeah. that has been a, a long and uh, very hard work to convince uh, all the institution that I that France and especially Paris for my my side was very important to be supported by the institution because we were very late in the development of all the music electronic scene and that uh, for example Amsterdam, Berlin, London, uh, Spain and everything was very developed and very supported as IDE is a, a good example of that 
and uh, when ADE was created, uh, the, the, a law, a law uh, was um, out in France, uh, which, which forbid all the meeting for el electronic music for more than 500 people, for example. So, so a bit the difference between the European policy and the French policy, and I think since 10 years we managed to um, convince them that it was important to support us in our mission of uh, developing electronic music scene. So the, f the fact that the, ec the economy of the electronic music in France grew, and I'm gonna ask you, tell me, that so the influence of the market, first the scene exploded and the institution kind of followed that trend and started realizing how, how much, how important it was in the economy? I think at the moment y they realized that there was business, meaning money, and not only money for the promoters, but money for tourism, for example, money for com from companies. Uh, we got a support. Um, what, what was said before is that we don't have money because uh, France has a cultural uh, of habit of getting financing for cultural projects. Uh, what Aurélien said is that electronic music uh, had to manage differently. We had to manage on our own because we didn't have support from the media, we didn't have support from the institutions, uh, we didn't have support from the venues, so we needed to create our own business model. Uh, today, everybody sees, and I think the Amsterdam Dance Event is a great example, but we see it all over the world, uh, electronic music drives tourism, drives creativity, drives creation of businesses, so today we have the support, uh, not all around France, uh, we have some exceptions, uh, like Paris, like Lyon, who are very active in supporting electronic music. But the challenge today is to get support. We're not looking for money, we're looking for acceptance. Because today, with entrepreneurs like Sur Surprise, we still have clubs that are shut down by police. We still have issues around uh, electronic music linked to drugs and bad habits, which is still 25 years after we were created, an issue. So the work is an ongoing work. Uh, the collaboration with, in with institution is key, uh, not to get financings because we know that there's no more money, but to have the acceptance to enable people to create projects, festivals, open clubs, get venues, uh, and not have more problems than usual cultural entrepreneurs who are accepted in the cultural environment. So I think it's a, uh, the breakthrough was actually with the city of Paris. Uh, in 2010, we had a petition called Paris quand la nuit meurt en silence, Paris when the nightlife is dying si silently. We had 16,000 signatures. Um, the city of Paris organized a big event around nightlife. And since then, we see a strong evolution of uh, the collaboration between our institutions city, region, state, and the electronic music players. So the key to work with our market is uh, to be able to get understood and accepted by the local governments. Mayors are key decision makers because they decide, but it's a long, long work. Uh, for example, Technopole, we are a trade body association. We help solve these problems along with other organizations like the, the Chambre Syndicale of Aurélien. CSLMF. CS, uh, CS CSLMF. 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 Uh, and all these organizations are working uh, day to day to make our market more stable, more sustainable, and uh, open to collaborations with international players, but also supporting our own entre entrepreneurs. That's also another particularity of the French market is that it looks pretty closed on itself. And is it opening now to, I don't know, to different, what, what if a company, uh, a non-French company wants to invest in France? Do they have to go through the same complexity? Maybe we can ask that to Frédéric. If uh, a non-French company wants to invest in France in the cultural business, how complicated is it? And do they have to work with the state? They don't do it because we have something called uh, administrative closure, which is a right of the prefect which can, like we had at the Orbit, for example, one month ago, a closing uh, possibility with no possibility of being in front of a judge. And uh, so it's a sp French specificity. So 
some investors w that would like to come are uh, directly blocked by banks because uh, from if something happened that is not from your responsibility, uh, you can be closed from a day to another. So it's really uh, it closed really the possibility of being helped uh, by external financial uh, finance out of France or block producer who would like to invest in France in that kind of business because it's really a specificity on France and we try to um, making the thing changes but it really depends on the specificity of France uh, of the policy of the prefect from the different region and also from the mayor so it's a very complex uh, map that you have to understand and it can change every two or maybe five years. So when you have investors or producers want to invest for a long time, it's really uh, complicated to make plans for maybe 10, 20 years. Yeah, it's, we have several examples of very big companies, for example, Live Nation, who got canceled their I Love Techno event two hours before they were opening the doors. And they also stopped producing Download Festival, which was a metal festival that they tried to implement in uh, Ile-de-France, which is the Paris region, and they just stepped back because it was too complex. So we still have a lot of work, um, but we have a, a whole generation of new entrepreneurs who are supporting uh, working with international players and a lot of cities that are moving on and people like Jacques Lang also, who is a key player, and maybe we can have a few words on how Jacques Lang influenced uh, the implementation of electronic music and is still supporting on a day-to-day -day basis uh, the electronic mu music entrepreneurs on our market. Yeah, so Jack Lang is the, you said, the creator of Techno Parade and also Fête de la Musique, but <laughs> he's one of the only few political figures in France who is so popular and especially uh, amongst old and young people and everybody. So tell us a bit more about, about it. Alors pour ce, pour ce Est-ce que vous montez Oui. Pour ceux qui parlent français, ça va être très à l'aise pour vous. Donc, euh, je vais faire court pour que Tony puisse traduire. Short sentences, real-time translation, better than Google. Euh, ju juste pour avoir une euh, compréhension euh, très claire, je crois, entre euh, ce qui se passe sur le territoire français et le reste de l'Europe. Frédéric a ouvert d'ailleurs euh, avec, je crois, l'essentiel, c'est de rappeler que le territoire français a créé au début des années 80, un petit peu plus tard. Euh, ce qu'on appelle l'exception culturelle. Et dans l'exception culturelle, euh, il ne faut pas l'interpréter euh, comme on serait le pays euh, qui aurait les meilleures euh, euh, expressions d'art ou on ne serait pas comme les autres. Pas du tout. Euh, L'idée à l'époque était de considérer, et ça recoupe d'ailleurs les propos que Tommy euh, vient d'exprimer, euh, exprime clairement que l'ensemble de la culture et des arts ne doivent pas être considérés comme une marchandise comme les autres. Yeah, so the what we were talking about cultural exception uh, which appeared in the 80s um it's not a it's not because we feel better or because we are super ob obnoxious and proud uh, it's because we consider that culture and art should not be only seen on the commercial side but it's uh, it needs to be supported in the creative side so the involvement of the government and the institutions to support the, de the development of the cultural ecosystem was created on this basis. We have um, cultural exceptions, we have creators who need to be able to be helped to, s to launch their uh, creative activities, artists, theaters, uh, painters, exhibitions. So this was the commitment of the government to invest in the creation, uh, I think, we can talk about the bad side, which is that now there's no more money for the others. But the first intention was a good intention. Il est presque plus long que moi au final. Euh, euh, donc euh, l'exception culturelle pour finir sur ce chapitre, avant d'aborder un autre sujet, de vous rappeler un exemple qu'il faudrait, je crois, ne pas oublier en France, c'est que l'exception culturelle quelque part, elle a tendance dans l'ADN euh, des Français euh, de faire ce pont entre l'économie de l'euro et l'art, comme si les deux euh, avaient une distinction très claire. 
ce qui souvent, d'ailleurs, pour ceux qui, sont, euh, qui exercent euh, sur le territoire français, ou si toutefois vous êtes vous-même des futurs euh, étrangers qui voudraient exercer sur le territoire français, c'est vrai que dès qu'on parle d'art, de culture de façon générale et d'économie, il y a une, une sorte de, je ne vais pas dire de frontière, mais les deux sont très distincts. D'où l'objet d'ailleurs, et j'espère qu'on abordera euh, très vite le sujet qui nous rassemble aujourd'hui, celle des institutions qui peuvent effectivement venir accompagner des projets culturels. So the cultural exception was to create a frontier between art and economy. Um, and this is why the institutions are key players, because without them, there is no development of this cultural economy in France. Um, voilà. It was shorter this time. Et un dernier, <laughs> exemple, uh, un dernier exemple pour vous symboliser ou pour ancrer uh, dans la mémoire et particulièrement celle des musiques électroniques, il se trouve qu'au début des années 90, j'étais très souvent uh, dans un pays ami avec uh, ici uh, la Hollande, qui est l'Allemagne, pour la Love Parade, le tout début des Love Parade, euh, vraiment au début des années 90, 89 pour être précis, juste après la chute du mur. Et lorsqu'avec Jack Lang, euh, en 96 et 97, on réfléchit à imaginer une version de ce que pourrait être la Love Parade sur le territoire français, qui verra le jour en 1998 avec la Techno Parade, qui est aujourd'hui sous la tutelle de Tommy, je me souviens que des échanges avec les organisateurs de la Love Parade et Paris sont mis en place pour imaginer, pourquoi pas, une extension, et ça, évidemment, beaucoup de gens l'ont oublié, pour imaginer une extension de la Love Parade à Paris. Et ce qui va faire comme résultat, qui n'est pas aujourd'hui la Love Parade à Paris, mais la Techno Parade, c'est que déjà en 1997, lorsqu'on réfléchit à cette à cette hypothèse d'installer la Love Parade sur le territoire français, on va avoir un groupe de Français qui va s'opposer clairement à la méthodologie de la Love Parade, qui est, elle, déjà dans un principe très commercial, avec des chars marketés par des marques, avec des télévisions qui achètent les droits. Et lorsqu lorsque les Allemands arrivent avec ce principe sur le sol français, on va avoir un mur brutal des organisateurs français qui vont dire non, nous, on n'a pas envie que la musique électronique euh, qui a, euh, depuis les années 90, dit, euh, euh, vécu de façon underground, j'aime pas le mot, mais qui s'est éloignée volontairement des institutions pour vivre une forme de contre-culture, euh, on ne veut pas qu'elle vienne euh, euh, s'accommoder avec une économie réelle marketée. Et c'est ce qui a donné d'ailleurs donc la technoparade, je dirais plus douce dans sa forme, euh, avec, euh, effectivement, à l'époque, pour sa première édition, aucune marque très puissante qui vient amener de l'argent, même si euh, euh, elle a évolué, mais en tout cas avec un modèle, vous le voyez bien, économique, très différent. Oui, yeah, so this was an example to illustrate the way we, the, the cultural exception, uh, because we have the techno parade in France, which is uh, a bit the same uh, model as the love parade. So when uh, Jack Long, who, is, who was Minister of Culture, wanted to bring the love parade in France, Uh, Love Parade, who had a very uh, commercial business model already, um, a lot of promoters uh, and organizers on the French market were opposed to getting a subsidiary of the Love Parade because we didn't want to have a strong commercial presence uh, during our events. Uh, so the Techno Parade was created on the model of involving independent players to be present uh, and not on working with commercial brands Uh, and having a very commercial floats, uh, promoting uh, Coca-Cola or I don't know who. Uh, and this was really the first step in creating our own electronic music cultural specificity because uh, we were already uh, conscious that we needed to be independent, that we needed to find our own ways to fi finance our events, to create an ind independent ecosystem. And the support of institutions was here to enable, but not to finance. Uh, because one of the um, negative effects of uh, cultural financing is that when there's no more money, you don't have any more event. So one of the things electronic music succeeded in doing is 
getting the support from the institutions, having good relationship with our Ministry of Culture, with the, city, with the cities, with the regions who are key in implementing clubs, festivals, uh, in doing business, but we are not running after the money as the traditional uh, cultural exceptions, cultural players who exist on our market and who have a strong financing from the public institutions, but depend also on these institutions and sometimes even depend on the political color of these institutions. So independence is the key word for electronic music. So uh, it also means it's difficult to talk about money when you're in France in the culture sector. So how do you make business uh, in France if, you, if, you, if there is this separation you mentioned between the economic logic and the value of culture? You don't make money. You, you, you can make money, but you have to find a way between uh, that cultural exception, who have been explained by uh, me and by Michel, uh, uh, and that's uh, uh, that, that, that special way of uh, not only the development of the culture, but of the economy of the culture. That's the, the, the point of view. And uh, so the, the exception cultural, and what you have to do to uh, work and because culture and the market and the electronic music is uh, not only a business, but it's also a business. So you have to find a special way, French way maybe, <laughs> uh, between I I in, this, uh, in this area. And there is another thing to add, uh, not, for, for the, not only the techno parade, but there is a law about the publicity and the alcohol publicity, in special law in France, and you can't have publicity for alcohol. So at the different of other country, like here or in Germany or in England, of course, uh, you can have big support. I think that's a good thing. Uh, but you can have big support of the all the, 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 the beer mark or the in not only the culture, in the sport or lots of it. So that's the no, uh, another reason why you don't have uh, uh, lots of uh, uh, in investment especially of the, 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 the big consortium or the big uh, not institution but the big uh, uh, firm uh, of uh, alcoholic firm in uh, in, uh, in in France uh, so for the electronic music you have to find a special way uh, like this but th 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 but it, it's it, 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 it didn't mean the, the you don't need the support of the institution because the support of the institution is a uh, could be a, a money support, but it could be a support of a, a, a recognize that you are a member of the, 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 the culture family. You're not only a, a culture of, a, I don't know, drug and a music for, a, 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 for the, the death music or a, I don't know, the, that's the first thing. The second thing is uh, how you can uh, support a, an, um, a, an economic system and um, uh, 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 to have the authorization and to have all of that stuff to be to develop and to implant to implant the electronic music and to implant the the, 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 the way to implant the place for the electronic music and in Paris but not only in Paris you have the same thing in uh, the big city like Lyon or I don't know Toulouse or so there is a, a, a battle to, to uh, about if uh, the, if the uh, the electronic music or the music or and the electronic music could, st could stay in the center of the city because you have a, a battle of the, 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 the price of the land, the, the, the problem of the concrete, of the, the, the problem de la concrete was that the, the proprietor, the owner of the battle say, okay, get out. Uh, so after we find, we, 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 we find, uh, and we, we try to find and we find another place from the city and from the city hall, not in the city hall, but from the city hall or to the city hall. Maybe that's yeah. the yeah. solution. Uh, to say, idea. Let's talk a bit to more say, about okay, that. The concrete, uh, the, uh, this club, because it's important. Concrete at the city hall. Yeah. yeah. Concrete in the city. <laughs> Will stay in Paris, not go out at the, in the suburb or go in another place. And that's a battle for uh, that this uh, immobilize the, the speculation, but that's a battle to say the, the electronic music must stay in the center of the city and must be included 
in the city and be including in the life of the city. That's important of the, an important part of the, the, the public intervention, not only the money. Okay, I think this is very important. It's um, w because everybody talks about money, uh, but I think authorization, uh, recognition, and this is what is organizations like Technopo, but many others have been working on since 25 years. Uh, once we have the recognition and the support to open clubs, to create festivals, we have our independent way of working. And the message is also much more positive for foreign companies who want to get on the market. Because if you know that the police, uh, the mayors, and the government are reluctant to open up to electronic music, like it was the case in 1995 and 1996, you can't do business. Now today you can do business, uh, and the market is opening, that's why we are here, uh, and that's why our entrepreneurs are ready to create international bridges with uh, foreign companies, foreign labels, uh, because we have achieved a level of recognition that was not existing 10 or 20 years before. Thank you, Tommy. Uh, we're gonna have now just time for a few questions if there are, and in the meantime, while people prepare their question, I'm gonna ask uh, each of you very quick to give one industry tip on how to work with French institution. What would be the main thing? And please keep it short. Aurélien, we can start with you. I think, well, one key is find a local partner who knows the institutions, uh, adapt to the market, and understand what are these local specificities. Uh, tu as dit l'essentiel, je crois que si, uh, oui, uh, avoir une activité sur le territoire français, uh, mais ce serait la même chose, j'ai l'impression, pour un Français qui a envie d'aller faire uh, une activité à l'étranger. Uh, moi, ça m'est arrivé de, de travailler sur des projets à l'étranger uh, où on a tous besoin d'avoir un partenaire. Je crois que l'essentiel, c'est si vous êtes étranger et que vous voulez... Euh, travailler sur le territoire français, c'est de, de vous asseoir avec un partenaire. T Tommy citait l'exemple de Live Nation. Live Nation est effectivement cette machine américaine que tout le monde connaît, mais Live Nation, en tant qu'entité, euh, est assis sur le territoire français au travers d'une filiale. C'est-à-dire qu'aujourd'hui, Live Nation, lorsqu'elle parle aux institutions, lorsque Live Nation parle à la mairie de Paris, c'est l'entité française, la structure française euh, qui lui parle, c'est pas la structure américaine euh, des états unis donc le bon conseil c'est effectivement euh, ayez un partenaire qui maîtrise euh, et à la fois euh, pas que les institutions qui maîtrisent je dirais l'ensemble euh, de l'écosystème euh, français mais ça ça me semble être euh, d'un naturel enfin c'est pas spécifique aux musiques électroniques j'imagine que tous les acteurs économiques qui travaillent sur le territoire français ont un partenaire qui maîtrise effectivement l'ensemble de nos institutions. C'est vrai que la culture, encore une fois, je, je, euh, c'est pas pour faire fuir, mais euh, c'est vrai qu'on est... Euh, la culture, on n'est pas sur une marchandise comme les autres. On n'est pas Uber, on n'est pas McDonald's. Euh, et, et la France, au travers de sa représentation et notamment de l'expression qui a été celle des années langue Mitterrand pour les Français qui sont dans cette salle aujourd'hui, c'est vrai qu'elle a inscrit de façon très forte cette façon différente que d'aborder la culture, euh, si on voulait la comparer à l'époque, avec le modèle américain. Euh, aujourd'hui, c'est vrai que le cinéma français, ce n'est pas l'objet de notre rencontre aujourd'hui, mais si on, on raisonne deux secondes sur le cinéma français aujourd'hui, c'est l'un des cinémas en Europe qui se comporte encore le mieux. Excuse-moi, Tommy, pour avoir été un peu long. Euh so I think he uh, integrate the fact that we have this cult cultural exception, so a partner that knows how to navigate in this complex ex institutional ecosystem uh, and make sure that you understand our market. And Frédéric, how do we work with, what would you say to work with Paris? Be, be creative. Be creative because for all that, those reasons, be creative. Not only business, be creative. We create the exception cultural to attract the people who are creative. So be creative and after make business. But first, be creative. In the same way as Frederick is saying, I think we have the chance to have uh, international language with electronic music. 
and that there's no barrier, there's no frontier, and the force is the creation and the music, and I think we have to go with that and uh, continue to be the international communication with that type of language. Thank you. Do we have any questions in the room? And if not, we're going to thank you. And ah, yeah, question. festival thing but, but you I might think Aurelia has experience in both yeah. because you did yeah, both. Yeah. I think that we the electronic music scene in Paris uh, has exploded in maybe six seven years and there's not enough venues actually inside of Paris and as said Frederic just before it's very expensive to have places inside of Paris so naturally people are trying to find places to express the music, and um, the problem is that we don't have enough. Um, we don't. We're not enough help by the state. Actually, the the perfect um, to have facilitation to uh, do events in that those, those types of uh, venues, which are not made to bring public in. So it's some. It's most of the times. Not that much in the um, in the in the law, but it's the price to pay to express yourself. And uh, the um, in Paris or in Ile de France, all the the, the big uh, the big area of Paris, because um, as I said, I think that we need more places to express electronic music in uh, in Paris. And for the city hall. Um, we try to find uh, some uh, uh, some place, some uh, building, or some uh, area, or uh, some uh, uh, to uh, to put uh, the club in uh, inside, and and, and 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 do that the club stay inside Paris, like just I said before, uh, La Concrete, or in the Theater of Châtelet, which is a very big uh, theater in Paris. We made uh, two years of uh, 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 work. Uh, for travel, uh, um, travel the, um, work works, yeah. works uh, in uh, in Châtelet, and now at uh, we have uh, built uh, a club in the Châtelet, and we are going to open a club at the end of the October in the big theater, which is in the center of the city, and with a very old theater, uh, an institution in Paris. And we say, okay, we make very lots of work in the theater, then we add a new club in Paris in the theater of Châtelet. We try to work to stay okay. You, uh, there is a, uh, as I said, there is a battle for the the, the, the location for the land and for the the, the, the price of the, the land in Paris. So if we don't if we don't care uh, to that, uh, all the club we are going to go in banlieue in the suburb, and uh, there is lots of difficulties because uh, they, 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 there is this is where us. I, there is interesting way where us, but there is not uh, uh, money. There is not. Uh, there is no security. Uh, security and all of that. Anyone, any more question? Yeah. association because we gather <laughs> of course we are open to international but we we have we we have a lot of members who are professionals 
We are in link with all the festivals. We organize the Paris Electronic Week, which is the kind of very small a Amsterdam dance event focusing on the French market. So this is one entry point. Professional organizations are definitely an entry point uh, and you need to connect with these people. And once you are in the network, you can have access to contacts of festivals, clubs, and many professionals. So we are, the associations are very strong in France. It's non-profit associations who are usually networks of professionals who gather and who work for the development of a specific ecosystem. Technopol is one of them. And we have also the professional organizations for clubs, for festivals. So you, ha you need to connect with these people. And once you are in the connection, you can do your business. And you can, if you want, you can meet Jacques Lang. Just ask to Michel. <laughs> and especially for you, have card. <laughs> okay, thank you, everyone. That's all the time we have.